our program has actually given us a chance to actually start treating it and getting a handle on it. Unlike perennial pepperweed, it has taken over the stream banks, it destabilizes, it affects water quality, it affects land values, it, it just, it's, it's amazing what this weed does out here in the West. And we are trying really hard to, to keep that same situation from happening here on the Carson. And it starts way up in Alpine County, comes way down here at Churchill. And like Nancy says, they're really catching the blunt of it, but we're really trying throughout the river system to, to control it. Um, especially over there. When I first started here, that bank probably came out about five more feet. I treated all the pepperweed on it as the years went. It just continued to fall in. The pepperweed's um, roots span out like this. They, they do nothing to hold the ground together. So the more they take over, they, I've watched them take down cottonwood trees in a year. But for the most part, that's exactly what pepperweed does. It just continues to break that bank down and down and down. And among losing waterway, it's also dropping all those seeds right to the water to send down. What most folks don't understand, or most people don't understand, is that noxious weeds are hazardous fuels. Noxious weeds increase fire um, frequency and intensity, and they greatly impact ecosystems. By controlling the noxious weeds, we're actually reducing hazardous fuels and helping to restore ecosystems. Having these crews has been just amazing, has been enabled all of the weed groups throughout the Carson system to be able to get out and get a lot of on the ground work done. Hey, most of this has been by hand, you know, just regular tools, uh, some chainsaw. We've, we've cleared this and burnt and during the winter. Uh, I mean, there's more work here than you, you could do in 10 years and, and we just have been on top of it. The fact that they did this last winter and got it cleared out to this extent, it makes it a whole lot easier to treat the young growth coming up right, right. now. I mean, like I said, I'm really happy with this in the sense that there's so little regrowth coming up that they can almost stay on top of it, um, which, you know, two years ago you would have said, That's, this is going to be an impossible feat. But it's actually working out really, really well. Yeah. But uh, I've learned a lot about the basin and how important it is, and people need to know how important it is. This is what's been really helpful with this funding is actually get the crews, get the people out there and really start chopping it up. We've had small pots of money to, to do little tiny projects and address small things here and this arrow money really pushed us over the edge to demonstrate um, what can be done.